away with it. But he ain't get away with it. Bow, 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 bow. You already know what it is, man. Shaman Vada Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. The clip will blow. I ain't talking fast. You're listening slow. Yeah. 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 Shout out to the subscribers, that notification gang, everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Sometimes I gotta ask things like, where are y'all from in the comments, you know what I'm saying? Because I be wanting to know where the people from, where you representing, where you holding it down from. Shout out to everybody out there. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP. It's Friday, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just giving love and showing admiration to everybody out there who watches this. We gonna get into what we gonna get into, you know what I'm saying? This is just the intro for the info. I felt good, you know what I'm saying? I just got back from the gym. Uh, I did 150 days in a row. I've been at the gym, you know what I'm saying? I've been working out, getting myself together. Just, you know, I think in our community, a lot of us have to realize that high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, all that shit is relevant and it can happen, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing people that I went to high school with, you know what I'm saying? A lot of them are getting bigger. Some of them are losing their lives and having a lot of health problems, just getting out there doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? It makes you feel better. You look good, you feel good, you feel good, you play good, you play good, they pay good. But let's get to the subject at hand. It's time to talk to the mother man, <laughs> Murder Moop. Yo, yo, this interview is going, it, yo, I got so many things to say. All right, so Hitman Holler responds to Murder Moop's interview with a space. The space is two hours long. I listened to like the first 15 minutes of it, and I got that. It's at the end. You know, I grabbed a space. You know what I'm saying? I'll snatch it up for y'all because everybody don't be on Twitter and all that. So I bagged the work up, and I bring it to y'all. Y'all watch it. You know what I'm saying? And they pay me at the end. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it goes. But uh, um, I was watching the interview with Murder Mook. God humbled me, so I'm going to humble you. Watch me. I come to St. Louis and battle you too, bro. I've been out there before you when you was a kid. I was murder mook when you was a kid, boy. You playing with me? Stop it. I'm going, I'm gonna humble you. God humble me, I'm gonna humble you, bro. Watch me. <laughs> Yo. This interview, man, like, Mook is bugging, son. Like, he said, so he, like, some of the shit that he said was kind of wild. Like, you're, he was saying that <laughs> he's the reason why Nick Cannon went and got all the battle rappers in. He in the battle rappers. Hell no. No, 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 no. Landon Wallen. I'm talking about as far as, but I'm talking about as far as us, because Murder Mook and Hitman Holler really don't belong in the same conversation if we talk about business-wise. We, we, you just talking about... On wilding out yeah, to me, me to right, what yeah. I've done, period, mm -hmm. right? But me being doing what I've done allows him to be on wilding out. Nick Cannon doesn't come check on nobody from Battle Rap. Ask Nick Cannon. He said the only reason I got Battle Rappers on my show is because of Murder Move. Let's talk to Nick Cannon about that. Everything comes to him first, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. That's like saying. I grab rebounds for my dog, you know what I'm saying? I got a couple of people that are professional athletes, you know what I'm saying? So like, I grab rebounds for my dog. He made it to the NBA, so I gotta be part of why he made it. That doesn't work like that. Like, what? It's cap. Yeah. What are it's the, cap, man. No. What are the, it type, what are the type of shots you're it's getting? Cap, yeah, if, if, if he's just- Like this shit is crazy, yo. Like, I, I, I don't get it, man. And, and some of the, and like Mook is still talking in circles and shit like that. And it's like, bro, Hitman already presented a lot of the terms for y'all to battle, you know what I'm saying? He was willing to give you 50%, you want 70%, the battle can't go on bags and bodies, y'all want the battle to be on URL. URL, <laughs> nigga, URL ain't called Hitman, he says since 2018, like why does it need to be there? You battled on RBE and it went to RBE, you don't have a league, he has a league, he wants to pay you to do the... And Mook wants to determine who's on the card and all this other shit. It's just never, they're never going to meet in the middle anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Because the money is crazy. Uh, Hitman is saying Remy don't want to pay Mook what Mook want. And you know what I'm saying? It's just so much shit. But when I'm listening to this interview, uh, I'm hearing Mook, you know what I'm saying? He's right back in his bag. He didn't like Hitman said in his rebuttal. Mook didn't even wait till another interview to change back to Murder Mook, you know what I'm saying? He's still the Murder Mook that we knew. The first interview was like, you know, I'm sad, boop de woo But he flips right back to Murder Mook and he's talking his shit. And he's basically saying 
he's gonna humble hit man and what I'm gonna do to you etc etc and the thing is like I respect Mook as far as an MC and what he can do and shit like that we can't just act like Hitman's a nobody. Like, he don't got no stain in the game. Like, he ain't been here for a while. Like, Hitman, the thing about Hitman, Hitman is standing in front of shit. He's calling all the bloggers. He's making tweets, asking the bloggers to come in spaces and ask me all the questions that you want. Mook's not doing that. What happened to that boy? Bloggers to come in spaces and ask me all the questions that you want. Mook's not doing that. That's why I have to believe what Hitman is doing, because he has a two hour space is answering any question about everything. He don't care, he's answering it all. He's standing right on top of it. Mook has to talk through his manager and shit, and I get it, but, dog. <laughs> and then he was saying that Hitman talked about the business, and Hitman responded to it, it was like, I didn't talk about the good business, I talked about the bad business. So he knew that the battle wasn't happening. He's just like, fuck it, the battle's not even happening because they can't come to an agreement. And Hitman did go on and say he's easy to book. He been booked on multiple leagues. I done seen Hitman battle more than once, personally, at battles. He was on RBE, I seen him on URL, I seen him on King of the Day. He's been everywhere, he can get booked. Hitman's like this, boom, meet my number, drop my battle, promote it right, I'm there. And that's exactly what he do. He show up, he bring his three rounds, he get the fuck out of there and be right back on TV the next, the next day, the next week, back on tour a while now. You know? We don't always, like Hitman's the type of person that like, he's very emotional about what he does as far as his character, his bravado, and being who he is. But you can't knock his him as a businessman or his acumen or what he does. And whenever it's some shit, he's in spaces. <laughs> he's getting there. He's going to be right there in spaces shooting that shit down. But Mook was basically in this interview, like, I just found some funny parts in that shit. And I was just laughing, like, yo, I would like to see the battle, but... If it's too much red tape, I mean, too much yellow tape around, it's like, man, motherfuckers gonna be like, nah, this ain't even gonna work. Because, you know, they're trying to find out about each other's numbers and this, that, and the third. But the thing is like this, Hitman could get battles. He can, there's other people that he can battle this year. They'll give him the battles, but he ain't trying to go over there on URL. And that's another thing that bugs me out, because there's no way, and the thing, the last thing, because I'm about to play the audio, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody out there. My son got a show tonight. It was between go to the class on my son's show, you know what I'm saying? And I'm doing really well in class. So I was like, and I don't ever miss class. I was like, fucking man. I emailed my teacher, you know what I'm saying? I gotta go to my son's show. It was like this, you know what I mean? So it was like, doo -doo 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 -doo. but I, I got an eight, I, I'm doing passing and I will catch up with the work. But what I'm saying is this, like, bro, <laughs> yo, Hitman is too believable. You know what I'm saying? He's willing to talk about the shit that's going on. He's standing right in front of it. He's gonna address it immediately. He said that he couldn't believe that Moot called him a liar. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, and, and that's just how it's gonna be. But I do thank these two individuals for getting shit popping again, because battle rap, you know what I'm saying? We're really nothing to talk about. But Hitman is outside standing on ba -da 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 business with the Draco. He he like, nah, Mook, you ain't getting away with them shots. That nigga, Mook came out shot. Bing, Hitman said, do, 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 nigga. He was with the radar clip. He got the shooting, got the shooting, nigga. J.R. Smith on that nigga early in the morning. And I ain't mad about it, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I like when Hitman's on his bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Because he promotes well, he talks well, and he ain't gonna never let nobody, like, play him. And the 50-50 would have been respectable, but anything more than that, I said, it ain't worth taking the battle. Because if you give him 70%, he gonna little boy you the whole time. What? <laughs> You know how where the Mook is. He gonna tell the whole motherfucking world on that goddamn stage. Before he get to dibble and dabble, let this nigga tell y'all he gave me 70% for this battle. Eh, nigga, that's gonna be hard. That's gonna be hard to get around. But uh, shout out to both parties involved. Y'all check out Hitman. I, I talked about Mook shit. Now I'm talking about Hitman. We go back and forth. Mook come out with some more dynamic shit. I'll talk about it. Hitman the same. Cock the Desi spray. Don't complain, nigga. You gonna watch it anyway. You ain't know what the fuck going on. Get your money long by the fly. I'm out this bitch. Dance around the topic because just saying I'm lying and just flat out delusional. I said, I know he know he can't do that. And the nigga is saying I'm lying, bro. And y'all know I'm finna correct everything. Even though he ain't even get a chance to even say nothing, the little shit he said, I'm finna make him look so crazy because even though the comments already see it, but it's like, okay, move. Let's start here. And uh, you, don't, real quick, Holla, before you even go into it, you notice his manager didn't want to say nothing about nothing. He was just like, I don't yeah, want to talk about that. Because he can't. He can't. Like, he, he, he can't. Like, you got to understand, if I'm, 
you cannot talk business all you want. Y'all don't like if a nigga t- say, telling the world that y'all doing shady business. Well, not shady. I shouldn't say shady. Wrong word. When I say y'all y'all doing business, y'all being disrespectful in a way by, you know what I'm saying? The the the, the counter offers that y'all coming coming at me with. You should be want. You should want to say. Normally, I don't talk about our business, but Hitman said we did that. That's a lie. This is what we asked for. Boom, 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 boom. Hitman said we did this. That was a lie. Boom, boom, boom. Because he talks. He don't talk about business. But smack the first person that tell us that he got twenty thousand. That he paid Mook twenty thousand. Or who told us that? If I'm not mistaken, it wasn't Beasley. It was. If Mook said it, it, it wasn't Mook smack. Said. Yeah. yeah. So now all of a sudden you don't talk numbers. Now all of a sudden you don't talk business? Come on, man. We see right through that shit, bro. And I ain't get online and er, and er out good business. I came online when I knew that shit was over and I erred out the bad business. That's bad. Y'all start talking about 70 and 30 and shit. This shit over. Let me go tell the culture what's going on. I'm not going to save face for nobody. Why would I get on here and save face and make y'all look good when y'all over there being dickheads, bro? Like, what are you talking about? And then what he got to understand is I didn't wake up one day and offer Mook any type of numbers. All I asked Mook was, would he battle on bags and bodies? Every number that y'all heard came from murder Mook. I didn't offer no Mook 50% off. Like, I didn't say, you know what, Mook? Bags and bodies, I'm going to give you 50%. I didn't do that. I didn't say, you know what, Mook? I'm going to give you 50% of the footage. I didn't do that. I call ARP like, yo, man, reach out to um, Mook them for me, bro. I'm just going to do this shit myself. Ask him, do we want to battle on bags and bodies? Or will he battle on bags and bodies? He answered the phone, or Van called him, and he said, the only way I do it on bags and bodies is if I get 50% in the pay-per-view. These are his numbers. I didn't create one number. I didn't create nothing. Every number the world has heard from me has been from murder Mook. How the fuck am I lying? Then he's saying, oh, my God, like, yeah, Wild and Out ain't doing nothing, so he just want to, he got to do, like, what are you, that's why I don't respect him as a man, bro. You can't even keep it real with yourself, bro. Like, what what that got to do, nigga, Remy asked me to battle you, bro. I didn't call nobody, asked to battle you. I didn't jump up and, and chase and mook around. Remy asked me at an event I was working at. Politics as usual. I was working, minding my business. Remy walked up and said, it's time to make history again. That was Remy. I didn't ask to battle you, Mook. What are you talking about? I didn't jump up and try to go through hula hoops and shit to get you to battle. When Remy couldn't get it done, I said, I'm already in battle mode. Let me go ahead and get it done. You said I'm not a hustler, but all this shit is my idea. How the fuck I'm not a hustler and this is my idea? Instead of letting the battle sink away, I'm trying to make it happen. And I'm not a hustler? But you the hustler when you trying to tell me you going to run away from 50% to go on another nigga league to just get paid at some small, a smaller percentage, but you the hustler? That makes sense? That don't even make sense. How you telling me you are real willing to do the battle and I ain't talked to Smack or Beasley about a battle since 2018? How you telling me you are real willing to do the battle? What does it mean that somebody else willing to do the battle when I'm giving you the best offer on the table? Smack ain't finna give you 50%. I agreed to that. Now you go run to Smack and tell Smack you want 50%. Let's see what he tell you. Remy ain't even want to give you the numbers, you the low, the low number you said she was offering you. Then you tell him I told Remy what she get. That's a lie. I fuck with Remy. Hard body. That's my girl. We could get her in spaces. We could get her on the phone. I asked about one of what you was paying murder moot. I got my number. The only thing, time that got brought up is when she said, I can't do it. I can't be able to get you that because Mook won't too much. I feel like I, I, I just can't, I don't want to pay him that. So I'm like, well, she asked me to go lower. I'm like, Remy, are, are you trying to make me go lower than a price that you already know I'm worth because I did business with you? Are you trying to make me go loyal? I mean, lower to give Mook more? Like, what are you trying to do? She like, nah, nah, I'm not doing that. Nah, I just need, if you go lower on your price, I maybe can help, boom, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, fuck it, Remy. All right, just give me what you gave me for easy. That's a slap in my face. I was willing to do that just to get the battle done because I know how much it is and how people say it's hard to book you. 
It ain't hard to book me. I've been on 15 leagues, bro. I don't see you on nobody else's league. It ain't hard to book Holler. And I get my numbers. They love booking Holler. I can't think of a, what you been on, URL, RBE? Have you been on King of the Dot? Have you been on motherfucking um, Gorilla Warfare? Have you been on um, Street Status? Have you been on Don't Flop? Have you been to You ain't been to Black. How the fuck is hard to book Holler? It's hard to book you. So I told Remy, give me what you gave me for easy. Why the fuck would I take the same number for Easy and it's Murder Mook and I broke records with Easy with Easy and Murder Mook a bigger name than Easy? I was willing to put my ego aside just to get it done. Don't talk to me about egos, nigga. We on, only reason we not battling is because you worried about how, how it's gonna look that a battle rapper booked you. Be real with yourself. That's why I'm telling niggas I don't fuck with you as a man. You can't keep it real. You don't keep it real, Mook. You up here trying to run all these games and Hitman line and this and that. Your manager said that. I don't want to discuss numbers. That ain't how we do business. But Murder Mook, the first one to put numbers on it and bring numbers to battle rap. Let you tell it. You're the reason all the battle rappers are getting more, right? Is that because Beasley or you? That's because of you. I got this. I got that. I get paid more than this. I get paid you. I get. That's what you do. What are you talking about? I'm just sick of you being a whole ass nigga. That's why I call Mook a whole ass nigga. It ain't because I'm saying he can't fight and no other shit. I'm saying this the type of shit he do. He he play victim. He do all this shit and be like, I'm not the reason. You're 100% the reason. How you're not the reason the battle ain't getting booked and I agree to your terms and the battle's still not booked? How the fuck is this we? How, how you not the reason? You, you wanted 50%. I said, yeah. You wanted 50% of the footage. I said, yeah. What the fuck is you talking about? Details, man. Well... Well, why would I do that? And then he get to pick the people on the card. What the fuck is you talking about, you idiot? Why the fuck would I let you dictate who the fuck on the card? And it's my card. It's my league. I'm booking you. I'm booking. What are you talking about? I told you. I told your manager the only way that would be possible if I brought a hundred thousand to the table and Murder Mook brought a hundred thousand to the table, then we could cross that bridge. Then everything could go 50-50. I said, that's the only way I would let him dictate who the fuck I'm booking on the card. What are you talking about? The ARP was like, well, Holly, you know, that's not a good idea because that means you and Mooka have to do more talking. You will have to agree on who. To. I said, you know what? You're right. So we're not even doing that. I don't even really like the nigga. So I'm not going to be on the phone. Yo, I think we should get this match up. And then we can't even get the fuck. We can't even get the damn battle done. And I'm agreeing all his terms as it is. He still, I see he ain't bring up, he ain't bring up that 70-30. Why ain't bring up that number? Why ain't bring up that number? If I'm lying, show me I'm lying. I, listen, I wish a nigga, listen, I get on her purposely and say and say all this shit because I want somebody to prove that I'm lying. It's 20, 30,000 bloggers in here. All niggas gotta do is go punch up shit and be like, holler, you look crazy. What's this? A nigga I'd never be able to do that because I don't cap. I don't cap on niggas' names. I get on here and tell you what it is. Any interview, I don't dance around questions. I don't dance around answers. I tell y'all what it is, because whatever I can say behind closed doors, I can say it in public, because I'm ten toes down always. He's not. I already did a blog breaking him down. He's a liar. Then I told y'all, y'all going to let him sob, sob story out of death and make it seem like he changed? The nigga ain't even wait an interview. Like, he ain't even wait. He, that nigga changed during that interview. The nigga went from, oh, I'm a piece of shit, I was doing this, to this, to saying Mouse got beat up, to saying Hitman lying, and he, he's the same mook. I told y'all. I know the nigga. I've been seeing this how he act for the last 15 years, bro. I came in this game showing him love. I didn't come in this game hating no murder mook. I came in showing love. I murder mook, one of the reasons I battle. Him, Rex, Sirius Jones. I came in showing love. That shit changed when he chose to diss me out the blue on a 15 minutes of uh, fame interview. That's when Hitman said, okay, it is what it is now. That's when that changed. He keeps saying, I said I was the Hitman. Of Man, show me that interview. I wasn't marking, I wasn't marking myself with no Hitman, the murder mook in St. Louis. If anything, a blogger probably asked that, like, or they, I'm saying those people compared me to an any. I wasn't, what are you talking about? He still haven't showed that footage. Show me walking around marketing myself as Hitman, the Murder Mook in St. Louis. Battle, St. Louis didn't even know Murder Mook. We we ain't we wasn't battle rap fans. We wasn't a battle rap city. 
me, A Verb, and Ill, all of us stuff, we was the only ones watching that shit. Like, what are you talking about? He keeps saying, he keeps running with that. Show that footage. Because I just want to see how I was asked. Somebody could have asked me, yo, would you say you like Murder Mook in St. Louis? Yeah, because I was the biggest battle rapper in St. Louis. Yeah, they compared me to Murder Mook or some shit. He tried to make it seem like I was going up to niggas, hey, I'm Murder Mook. You know Murder Mook, that's me. I'm like him. Come on, bro. That's what I'm saying. Nigga, take the way a nigga show love and try to flip it like, what are you talking about? They say I'm not a good business, nigga. How I'm not a good business, nigga, and I'm the one trying to do this shit with all the rights and giving you half the rights and us doing, but you trying to run the URL who ain't even called me in six years. What are you talking about? And then you talk some, yeah, hit man own RBE. You the only motherfucker around here thinking I own RBE, bro. If I own RBE, why you offer, why your manager text him telling him he'll do the battle, y'all to do the battle on RBE? If you so concerned about me owning RBE. He just lied so fucking much. Y'all gotta stop letting this nigga just get on these motherfucking or, blogs and lie. Well, why do the K battle 